hello and welcome. I'm Jessica, and um, I'm sorry I have not been updating in a while. I have been like crazy busy. Yeah, um, it's been it's been rough. So I am here now, and I'm going to give you a DIY video. I am here to teach you how to make a DIY LPS bed. Okay. So actually, I'm gonna teach you how to make two two different styles, of course. Um, so for the first bed, the materials you will need are uh, cardboard, I'm using thin, and this is just a classic white cake mix box, so yeah, that's, that's all I'm using for that. You'll also need scissors, don't run with them, um, tape, um, preferably a lot. I did not use, I would have normally used duct tape instead of this weird tape, but I'm currently out of duct tape, so sadness. I'm also going to use this little black electrical type tape, and you will also need a hot glue gun. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is clear out your workspace. Actually, I need those scissors. Bring them back. Oh, we're coming. <sighs> Anything else you need? No, I'm good. Thank you, Barbara. Um, I'm Wendy. I'm Barbara. Barbara wears earrings. Wendy does not. Okay. Uh, thanks, Barbara. Thanks, Wendy. Employees. Am I right? Okay, anyway. Let's get on with the craft. So, you're going to need your scissors. First, take your scissors and I'm just going to... I already cut off this part right here for another craft, so uh, you can go ahead and cut that off. Just cut off the, uh, I can't go any further with these scissors. Just cut off this one little section here and we'll keep working on this. So you're gonna flip it over and uh, put your LPS down on the um, cardboard and I made a little slit here for where it's gonna go up and then a slit here by our head that's gonna go over and meet it. Cut it out. Now I had to cut off a little bit of the piece that didn't you know, quite fit here so she might hang off a little bit but then you can just use it for like a smaller LPS like that was my bad. Try and give it a little bit more wider in case you have to cut it out to make it even. Okay, now that you have this, sit this to the side and bring back your cardboard. You're going to make a backboard. So, what you're going to do is sit this right here and I'm going to just make a slit right there. Now, you're just gonna cut that out. This is a backboard for the feet. And then I can have the bed higher, or I can make it lower. I'm gonna have this bed kind of all over the ground. Okay. I'm gonna go over here. And you're gonna go here and I'm actually gonna, I don't have room enough to make an edge, so I'm just gonna make a slit, like a little mark with my pencil right here. And then you're going to want to cut it out pretty tall if you want the um, headboard to be tall or like headrest backboard thingy. Okay, so now you have your, well, how your bed's gonna look. And now, you do not want white cake mix on the back. So, that's what the tape is for. I'm thinking I'm gonna do stripes. I'm just gonna cover up my entire piece of cardboard in stripes.
now this is done and you have your base for your bed all nice and blue and black and now yeah I know my fingers match this anyway um now you're gonna want to do the same with the headboard and your backboard but um actually first for my headboard what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make this like kind of curved so this in a in a very very nice curving shape there we go now I'm gonna cover this and I'll show you what to do for covering this in tape So here is the headboard or backboard or whatever you want to call it. Looks nice if you ask me. Okay. And now for this little piece. So now you have all three pieces cute and covered in tape. I mean, if you wanted to, you could actually do paint instead but I am the worst artist known to man and I paint like a two-year-old so you know I thought tape would be much better and easier to do besides this way I don't have to wait for it to dry that's the reason I didn't do like Elmer's glue because that I didn't have to wait for it to dry anyway now you want to get your hot glue gun plug it in and wait for it to heat up of course then decide um, how tall you want your bed to be. I actually put mine at the bottom of that stripe there. And um, make sure you um, just put it on and hold that thing on. You do not want that coming off or going crooked or completely in the wrong spot. That would be bad. Then do the same with your footrest. Then your bed is finished. Okay, so here's your bed. Um, for my younger fans, I uh, request you use a parent's uh, supervision for the hot glue and stuff. So now we have a super sweet, awesome hangout bed. Just use all kinds of blankets and pillows to a super stylish place to sleep or a super fun place to sit and hang out with my friends. This bed was fun and really easy for you guys to do and I hope you guys try it. Um, you guys can send me a link to a picture of where you did it or to a video where you use this bed. I hope you enjoyed that one.